The Aviva breast biopsy device is designed for fast and easy use. Because the console can be set up and tested in as little as one minute, the lesion in question can be confirmed with imaging before the disposable device is opened for use. Begin by plugging in the ATEC console to the electrical outlet. Gather the ATEC vacuum canister, desired Aviva device, 250 cc sterile saline bag, and a biopsy site marker if one is to be used. Place the vacuum canister lid tightly onto the canister, making sure to cap off the large port in the lid. Place the canister into the holder on top of the console. Connect the blue fitting of the vacuum line assembly to the vacuum port located on the top of the canister. Using clean technique, open and remove the Tyvek lid from the tray. Remove the white paper tabs and locate the four connection lines at the end of the Aviva device tubing. Pull the connection lines from the packaging and locate the white capped saline line. Spike the saline bag. Gently squeeze the saline bag to confirm that the flow is unobstructed and hang the bag on the hook provided above the foot pedal assembly. Place the clear area of the saline tubing into the saline pinch valve. Next, locate the blue device vacuum line and attach it to the front patient port of the vacuum canister. Attach the black device line to the black port on the console by making sure it clicks into place. Attach the red device line to the appropriate red port on the console, again making sure it clicks into place. Turn the console power switch on and wait for it to initialize. Watch for the yellow indicator light and listen for the beep as it defaults into biopsy mode. The system is now ready for the device check. Push the setup button at the top of the console. Once the vacuum level has been reached, usually just a few seconds, the green vacuum ready indicator light will illuminate. If the green vacuum indicator light is flashing, initiate troubleshooting steps. Check the needle aperture and the tissue collection chamber at the back of the biopsy device to confirm the presence of saline. Once vacuum and saline are confirmed, push the test button. The console will run one diagnostic cycle. Watch the needle aperture and listen for a whirring sound during this cycle to confirm that the inner cannula advances and rotates. If the inner cannula fails to advance or rotate, initiate troubleshooting steps. Once the test cycle is finished, the console will automatically default to biopsy mode. Using the remote valve, prime the device by depressing the white button to put the device in the pre-fire position. Depress the green button on the remote valve to fire the device while the device is still in the tray. Return the device to the pre-fire position by fully depressing the white button on the firing mechanism. The device is now ready for biopsy.